In every sumo tournament, there's at least one delightful moment which makes you go, YES! HE DID IT! For me, this time that moment came on day 13 with Komusubi Okinomi's push-out of Enho. Surprised? Wait until you hear this story. Five years ago, when Terunofuji won his first title, Okinomi was challenging him right until the home straight. As often the case, the pressure got to him, and he dropped vital bouts. His final chance to stay in the title race was a day 14 showdown with Takara Fuji, and he simply froze and lost. In that post-match interview, he said, My spirit is at zero right now. It's like I've ruined everything I've done in my life so far. When you're blessed with a fine physique like his, expectations are high, and failing to meet them hurts. But this time, after all those failures, with that vital shove to a retreating Enho's belt, he did it. His greatest achievement, a first ever winning score at Sanyaku level, and at the age of 35. Okinomi was understandably choked with emotion in the interview, and even received warm words from his most astringent critic, NHK pundit Kitano Fuji, who said, You're looking great right now. You should go for Ozeki. Sadly, one swallow doesn't make a summer, and he lost the final day bout that would have made him an Ozeki contender. But at least he's now proven to himself. His spirit didn't break. He hasn't betrayed all the training that he's done. He must have nothing but respect for fellow veteran Koto Shogiku, who can not only retire with Ozeki to his name, my apologies for forgetting that in my last post, but also a top division title, and now the sixth highest number of top division victories. He tied level with ex-rival Kiseno Sato on day 8 with a trademark force out of Chiyo Tairyu, that was his 714th top division win, then surpassed Kiseno Sato by winning a brutal contest against Tamawashi on day 9. He lost steam after that, managing only one more win from his final six, and thus standing 29 wins off fifth place, currently held by 1960s legend Taiho. I was targeting this milestone and delighted to get it, the 36-year-old confessed. All the guys ahead of me on this list are really amazing, so I'll just try to close in on them one bout at a time. You probably noticed that he's changed his tachi ai, keeping his knees unusually straight now, exploring every possible way to get the maximum output from his tired frame. I want to challenge the conventional wisdom, he says. And to his fans, his message is, I want to come away each day leaving everything on that dohyo. If I can repay all of you who support me with wins, so much the better. Journalists have been hinting for some time now that he will retire if he drops to Division 2, but that's certainly not happening yet. 35-year-old Tamawashi deserves more than a mere mention as Kotoshogiku's sidekick. That loss was one of only five this tournament as he put on his best performance since May 2019. The ex-title winner's arms still have the power to frighten, as many a foe's bruised face will testify. Even champion Terun Fuji took a Joe Frazier-style haymaker en route to his hard-earned victory. Tamawashi's arm lock throw is still working, as Chiyo Taidu found out. He cast the eagle eye over Kaisei, Miyogiryu, and Ishiura, tracking their movements and deploying a customized finish on each one. And his feet are also in fine fettle, notably saving him at the rope against Okinomi. Had he shored up his left side against the parry, and dealt with Enho's wimbling attacks, a second title may not have been beyond him. But Okinomi's left press in the final bout did quite some damage to his ribs, which he wincingly held at the end. He's never missed a day of tournament action through injury over the whole of his long career, we dearly hope that record continues in September, especially after he posted 10 wins and looked so strong here. Next, never write off a veteran from Saitama Sakai.
That school's super coach, Michinori Yamada, spends the bulk of his time on educating his charges in conditioning and nutritional science. That's why Miyogiryu can take a few knocks but still look sharp, just shy of 34. Over the first five days, his tachi eye was faultless. He got the jump on Shimano Umi and Tochinoshin as usual, and on everybody else for five straight wins. However, starting with Tamawashi on day six, a host of thrusters came in with arms extended, often striking the throat and cutting off his coveted root inside their armpits, leading to a host of defeats. His juniors from Sakai, with the exception of Dai Eisho, were clearly overawed by the very act of facing him, Kotonowaka missing a number of chances to polish him off. Miyogiryu joins the 10-win club for the first time in two years. Let's see if his strategies still work against higher-level opposition in September. And finally, having praised the men in their mid-30s, let's send our remaining goodwill to a man in his early 50s. 5th Division grafter Hanakaze of Tatsunami Stable turned 50 on May the 28th, and this time entered what I believe to be his 200th professional tournament. His first opponent was 42-year-old Ten Ichi, who he hadn't fought in 24 years, and his two wins in July were the first posted by a sumo wrestler in his 50s since 1908. Never say never.